Hey guys, what's up? Janelle Ryan here. So I just finished watching the Breaking Bad series finale. And man, what a great show. I mean, what else can you say about it? I got into Breaking Bad like two years ago, around the time I got into Dexter. I heard about it from being on Dexter's Facebook page, Dexter fan pages. People were always arguing about whether Breaking Bad was better than Dexter. So I decided to check it out. What I really loved about the show is that it started out really slow. You have this loner chemistry teacher who gets diagnosed with cancer and decides to cook crystal meth with one of his students to not only pay for his cancer treatment, but to give his family something when he dies. So of course he goes through these awkward periods where he thinks he's gonna get caught, he doesn't know what he's doing, things get blown up. And then before you know it, he's suddenly this giant kingpin who's making a ton of money, people are dying in his path, he becomes prone to violence, he enjoys it. For me as a filmmaker, watching television and movies it's way more than just entertainment for me, it's a form of inspiration. And Breaking Bad definitely, definitely does that for me. I'm really into character development, story pacing, staying true to the story, which is really hard for television shows for some reason. For example, Weeds. I thought the first two seasons of Weeds was the greatest thing I ever saw on television. And then they ruined it. It's like they lost sight of why they created the show and they tried to become something that they're not. With any great television show, you have a mix of emotions. So you have tons of drama, you have violence, but you also have really funny things. One of the funniest scenes, scenarios, whatever you wanna call it, is when Walt orchestrates the murder of Gustavo Fring using Hector Salamanca. Oh my gosh, the whole recurring gag with the bell and just him being mute. I could re-watch that scene over and over again. I also really liked the recurring gag of Lydia and her chamomile tea with soy milk and how it was a stevia packet that ended up killing her. And then how can you forget Saul Goodman and his really, really hilarious sidekick, Huel. Lavelle Crawford is a great comedian just in general, and I think he played this character perfectly. But let's talk about the series finale now. So being that I'm a Dexter fan, of course I was excited about the prospect of watching Dexter and Breaking Bad every Sunday for a few weeks. Dexter's series finale was last week, and you know what? I was kind of hesitant to do this during the last two years, but I'm gonna go ahead and make a ruling. Breaking Bad is better than Dexter. Dexter's series finale was a hot mess. I mean, there's so much I can say about it, but this is obviously not a Dexter video, but for starters, you threw Deb in the ocean, dude. Like, what are you doing? That is the same place that you threw all of your kills, or most of your kills. And then you're a lumberjack or whatever? I mean, it doesn't even make any sense. Talk about straying from the story. But anyways, what I really liked about the Breaking Bad finale is that it was satisfying, but it wasn't cheesy. It was sort of a happy ending in a way, but not in an unrealistic way. So for example, Walt's family hates him. He gets revenge. Jesse still hates him. I think he calls the police after he leaves. There are some things I do wish that happened. For example, at the very end, right before Walt dies, I really wish that he cooked one final batch I almost felt like he was gonna do it, especially after he picked up the mask and that put his hand on the canister. Maybe he was and he died too soon, but that just would have been epic beyond proportions. And then again, with things being realistic, I totally understand why his family hates him, 
But I really, really would have liked it for Skylar to embrace him one last time, especially after he walks out of Holly's room for the last time. I really felt like he needed some type of emotional support at that very moment. But yeah, again, Breaking Bad is better than Dexter. I'm gonna have to make the ruling. What will I watch now? I'm kind of sad. Even though, like I said, I made the ruling, Breaking Bad is better than Dexter, they were both really great shows. And I'm excited to see what Vince comes up with. I started watching um, Orange is the New Black, which is done by the same uh, creator as Weeds. I hope that she doesn't screw this one up. I know that's a little harsh, but I felt like Weeds got screwed up. The minute Halia and Conrad weren't on the show, it just wasn't worth it. Well, till next time, guys, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post new videos every week. And be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's all at The Janelle Show. Last but not least, visit thejanelleshow.com. See you later, guys.